Hello, my name is Douglas Vogt, uh, chairman of the Daihul Foundation, a nonprofit science foundation here in the United States. And our, our uh, objective is to uh, explain and discover the causes of the Ice Age and geomagnetic reversals throughout time. And thank you very much for inviting me to your lovely conference. So uh, the reason why this reversal happens has to do with a clock cycle that runs through time. It has nothing to do with a comet or meteor hitting the Earth uh, it, it, because that would be a random event. This is not a random event. By carbon-14 dating and other dating methods, it happens every 12,068 years. The evidence for the geomagnetic reversal as a timeline, uh, as a, a clock cycle, is due to uh, the research I did, and I collected a lot of information that showed the carbon-14 dating by geologists in various sediments around the world. And those, those tables, I included some of them in my series four, part 4A, and you'll see some of the, the database tables. And in those tables, you'll see clearly about six or seven cycles every, roughly every 12,000 years, you had this reversal happen. And, and where you have a reverse, a mag magnetic reversal, but the carbon-14 dating shows that's where it was. And that's, that's one way I found it repeatedly. And in fact, I had so many, I had to cut down how many would be in the book. Otherwise, I'd have literally hundreds just for carbon-14 dating. The other dating method was uh, organic material like logs found in glacial till. Uh, and they also, uh, um, they also showed a four cycles every 12,000 years. Uh, back, and it's the material that's found in the glacial till, proving the ice age did happen. And then finally, on volcanic act, uh, material, same thing, logs and stuff like that were burned underneath a, a lava flow, and they also carbon-14 data in cycles of every roughly 12,000 years. For this polar reversal and cataclysm happening, it is a clock cycle, it is independent, it's the this die hole that creates our reality has this clock cycle, and this is what happens during it. For the planets and the stars, the stars nova and the planets, the increased heat in the center of the, the planet is like what's going on in the center of the star, and it's gonna, we're going to have more earthquakes before the event happens. We're going to have more um, uh, volcanoes going off and things like that. You can't stop it. And we are, in fact, having that going on right now. A lot of volcanoes going off all over worldwide. So it's, it's, it's a mechanism. What government is currently trying to tell everybody or brainwash everyone to think that CO2 emissions caused by mankind is causing global warming. Um, you have to have a very low IQ to think that. The only heat source for the, set of the surface of the earth is the sun. We, as little ants on this thing, we do not cause anything like that. Um, there was an Air Force report, or government report, back in the 70s. And University of Washington had it. And they did a study exactly of that. And they found that the sun was the main reason. It was not CO2 at all. So the federal government did the study a long time ago. They knew the truth. And um, so that, that's it. It's, it's a lie. I, I was lucky to figure out the drop dead date, you know, the date this thing's going to happen. Uh, the North Pole should, a uh, magnetic North Pole, or the New Pole, which will soon be the South Pole, uh, will be roughly around Nova Zimbla, north of Russia. And I think that's also roughly the longitude that's going to be high noon when that sun novas. It's going to get worse. The, the climate's going to get worse. Um, there's going to be more rain, more storms, because the sun's output's going to cause more evaporation in the oceans. And you and Europe are going to get dumped on, as well as us too. And there'll be more volcanoes, more earthquakes, et cetera, et cetera. 
So you'll know something bad is about to happen. The UV, by the way, the UV exposure also is going to be going up. It's been going up here in Florida. The sun is, in fact, expanding and producing more energy. That's the truth. How does it start? Mm -hmm. Well, it starts like what's going on right now, the decaying Earth's magnetic field and the movement of the field. Uh, those are the signs. You, you could set your atomic clock to this cycle when it happens, literally. What actually happens at the day of the reversal? Okay. It's a, a uh, collection of disasters almost all at once. At the time this thing happens, you'll have the oceans... Uh, you in, in, the, uh, in Europe, if you're in England or in France, immediately the ocean would be towards you real fast. I don't know if it's going to be three or 400 miles an hour, but you're going to have the Atlantic Ocean come and visit you. So first you get the ocean coming towards you. In eight minutes then, you'll see the sun nova. If you're outside and you're anywhere along that longitude, I suspect you'll be dead within seconds because the heat from that Nova will be, could be three or four, even 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit in one shot. And it causes a tremendous amount of ocean water to evaporate on that side. And it, at the same time, when that happens, it creates a, a shock wave that's caused by water when it's, it goes to immediately to steam instantly it creates a steam explosion. The cosmic rays will nail you and kill you. The ocean water of the Atlantic will be rushing across Africa and the European continent. A lot of it will be evaporated as the sun's heat, heat heats it up and evaporates it. And so everything, plant life on the side of the earth that gets the sun treatment gets cooked, burned. That's actually the source of coal. And... Uh, the ocean water basically saves some of the plant life. It'll deposit this burning logs and stuff like that along the Ural Mountains or any kind of mountains that run north and south. As it goes around for about 100 days or so, it's going to be the worst. I think I, I answered the, the total disaster. I want everyone to understand this. Extremely few people survived it 12,000 years ago. Very, very few. So it's a lot of water is evaporated, as I explained earlier. It's like 450 feet of ocean water last time got evaporated. All that water comes back to the earth in the form of first hot rain, then snow. And that snow piles up, and you have a colossal ice age. So, I mean, these are some of the things that are going to be happening. I mean, it's just, it's a, a cacophony of disaster. It's not like anything that man is used to, except those who survived it 12,000 years ago. We'd be all back to the Stone Age, what few would survive. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to give up the cell phones, the computers. You know, we don't want to give these things up. And I don't want those things to get given up either. But I'd like to be able to to make it so many hundreds of thousands or millions of people can survive this thing. Yeah, I know. It's kind of sad, but <laughs> nothing we can do about it other than to work towards saving our ass. That's, you got to be constructive.